are here at Pace University and we are going to the Google Developer Group event, the Build with AI event, and we are going to go sign in. Come on, let's go. Okay, so as I mentioned today, we are here with Google Developers Group for the Build with AI event. And as you know, AI is changing everything, including the way we work. Okay, so local GDD chapters are hosting Build with AI events in over 300 cities all around the world to bring the community together and help developers build with Google's latest AI and ML technologies. I'm going to sit down with some developers and hear how they are using Google's AI products and models, specifically Gemma and Gemini. Today we are trying to build a YouTube assistant as a Chromium uh, extension uh, that's powered by Gemini 1.5 Pro that help users to kind of gain insights on the videos that they're currently watching on YouTube uh, while also getting a wider context from the community, from the comment section and also from Twitter and um, Reddit without having to navigate or switch tabs, which really enhances the user experience. And I would say that since Gemini 1.5 Pro has like 1 million context window. This helps processing a very large video, so just the base model can process up to an hour-long video. You were sharing a bit about some personal projects that you've recently yes. been developing. Recently, I had a trip to Mexico and at that time I was like, okay, I need to plan a good itinerary for the whole trip. And is there something good that can, you know, just fit in, I can just put in my dates and just like, you know, it can give me a whole new thing. So I can put some stuff in and I was like, okay, why do I not build something like this? Yeah. That can I can that I can just put it out for people who, who okay. do not face problems that I did. The one thing that caught my eye was um, the pre-Gemma AI models can definitely um, create such itineraries, but they they were not able to use the real-time data for for example, if the user has some budget preferences, they were not able to do that. Okay. But now, with the re real-time data frequencies that have been introduced, the problem is solved. They can uh, they can adhere to whatever the user's budget preferences are, or some any other new filters that the user wants to put in that includes con like having real data instead. That's that's amazing. If you log on to uh, just just type in Google Vertex API mm -hmm. Gemini, you'll get a GitHub link which is provided officially by Google. It says it's it's user it's, it's kind of user manual. If you get onto that, you can get a, all, all these steps. What you have to do. This is next step. And if you want any extra resources, there's attachment on the end. I am checking out the. I think it's called Quick Skills or something. Like Quick okay. Labs from Google. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, basically. I'm going through a path of uh, generative AI specifically right now. Okay, another really cool part of this event was the hackathon. Teams came together and they had the most creative ideas. They were building with tools and features using Google's AI technology. Here's what they shared with us. What are you building today? Uh, it's a superfood app to help uh, recommend superfoods and things you can do with them. And the stretch goal is to take a photo of the fruit and then it'll figure it out and help you out with that. Love that. It came from the idea of like sometimes you want to be introduced to a new healthy food and you want the inspiration to come from somewhere else. So just to be inspired to try new foods that are healthy. That's so good. I need that for sure because sometimes I see at the grocery store new foods and I'm like, that looks interesting. I don't know a lot about it. Totally. So is that kind of a, a use case for it? That yeah, you, you could just the... take your phone out, take a photo, and use the uh, Gemini Vision Pro API call. It'll do the work for you. We are going to have this memory function where a user can save a particular set of videos, and we are going to use those videos to fine tune so that to give out more contextual understanding to the inference engine. That's how we are using Gemini 1. We are using Gemini 1.5 Pro as a video inference engine. And then we are going to implement some reinforcement learning for it to understand you know, what kind of answers to expect as we are asking questions about certain specific topics. So I can ask, hey, explain me more about vegan diet from all the videos that I've already watched. So we are using Gemini like that, yes. Why are you here today? What brought you to GDG today? 
uh, I want to connect with like-minded people and get inside what they are doing nowadays and uh, Gemini is in a boom so <laughs> I wanted to learn more about it. What an incredible day hearing from so many developers and other individuals about how they are using AI in their everyday life to solve problems. It's so inspiring. Not to mention the hackathon where developers are building with Gemma, hearing how they were using Gemma, that it is so lightweight and easy to use. And then also to Gemini API, one of my favorite projects with Gemini that the developers were using. We're using it to help summarize YouTube videos. That is brilliant. I'm so excited to see what developers and others continue to build with this technology. And if you're a developer experimenting with AI, drop a comment down below as to how you are using it, what projects you are building. I love learning and hearing from you. Also, I have to say a big thank you to Google Developer Group for inviting me to this amazing event. These events happen all over the world and it's such a great way to connect with others, build with really incredible technology. Also, a big reminder to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with AI and tech.